Hello there, my name is Danny and welcome to Drive Green. Today we're going to be looking around this grey Kia Soul, 30 kilowatts. Um, this one in particular, a real world range of 110 miles. It's 2018 plate and actually it's done a little bit of mileage since it's come out. It's about 4,304 miles on the clock. Uh, the great, uh, the Chris grey Kia Soul is a great comfortable drive. It's practical in its nature and with its slightly quirky design. This has been actually in fantastic nick. Uh, so a few little things about it, you've got your three pin charging time about 15 and a half hours, fast charging time 9 hours and 45 minutes and a rapid charge time from 0 to 80% in 40 minutes. It takes a Type 1 and a Chatamo charger. So we're going to get a little bit close of it and let's see if there's anything that we can point out any noteworthy mentions. Now, as I said, since it's come out in 2018 the previous owner has done a fantastic job looking after the vehicle and you can usually always tell that in the alloys. Now there's only a little tiny little scuff mark just at the top just there and that is the only thing that's noteworthy on this side. Carrying down the bodywork now we go to the driver's side door. Nothing really of noteworthy mentioned down through here. Can't see it from this distance up but there's ever so slight little hole of work in there which you can't really see on the camera so there's no real noteworthy mention at all there. Going down to the driver's side rear door, passenger door. Once again, the story continues. Key in fantastic order. Right the side rear alloy. Another fantastic alloy. Great condition. Awesome. As we come down to the rear of the car, this is the only kind of real noteworthy mention. And even then, it's actually fantastic. It's just taking a little tiny little bit of bump just there. You can just see it through there. But as you kind of step out of the way, you can see that it's not really anything to worry about whatsoever. Usually always around the kind of the boot space is where you can usually see kind of signs of life of a family holiday trying to get in and out of the boot. But you can see as you kind of go along through the boot area, I'll open it in a little bit so you can see a bit inside. Looking in fantastic condition. Only one little tiny little noteworthy mention just underneath this little point just there. Uh, as you zoom out, barely noticeable. Awesome. Going around, you've got a few little nicks just down and through. We try and bring them out just to make sure it comes up to as full court ready as possible. The story once again continues. Let's go around through the video. Ooh. There's one ever so slight little nick just in there. But as you step away once again, barely noticeable. And another fantastic looking alloy. A little bit of just scuff marks just in there. And to be honest, for about a three-year-old car, it'd be a bit weird if it didn't have these marks. You want to know that it's been used. EVs, they like to get used, the battery likes to get used. And this one in particular has been used, but it is in fantastic condition. This is exactly what we love to see at Drive Room. Awesome. Passenger side door, once again, completely immaculate. Going down to the passenger side, front alloy. Can you spot any damage? Ooh, there's only one, and it's just there. Only a little bit of a scuff. There we go. But once again, the story continues as you zoom out, barely noticeable. Now it's around the front of the vehicle where you usually find a few stone chips. There are only just a couple gone through around here. Now, as you can see from this end, you can't see them at all. We take a little bit of a closer look. The bonnet. Once again, looking immaculate. Now, I didn't. I think I saw a couple earlier, but I'm trying to find them again now. Actually, it's a little bit difficult to do I just have a little bit of just in there. Which is almost not noteworthy enough, to be honest. There we go. There we go. Zoom. There we go. We'll focus again. Actually, I say I spotted one earlier. I think it was just that one just down here. There we go. Tiniest little kind of nick in there, if you can see it. And that's it. Awesome. So the exterior of the vehicle is in fantastic condition. Come on camera, focus. There we go. Let's see if it focuses as we go along. Right, let's have a look at the inside of the vehicle. Once again, you've got comfort access. So as you push the button, as long as you've got your keys in your pocket or your handbag or anything like that, and the car will open up. We take a nice little look inside the vehicle. Now these seats are actually some of the comfiest seats on the forecourt. 
<laughs> which not, might not be a selling point, but to be honest, for me, I want to have a nice comfortable drive and these seats are fantastic. They're heated as well, so that makes it nice and easy. Cold winter mornings, you've got heated steering wheel as well, so that's nice and nice little addition that you get as standard for this 30 kilowatt Kia Soul. And the story once again continues, a fantastic looking condition, infotainment system where you have your sat nav, a nice high driving position on here. Awesome. Right then. Well, let's have a look at the back seats. Have we got any signs of bored kids on their long distance journeys? No, nope, just some more comfy seats and in fantastic condition, if I might say so myself. Once again, usually on the back of these seats, you usually find a little bit of kick marks on those little toddlers. Nope, just a little bit of a nick there, which is actually a bit of a rarity. Even the seals are in fantastic condition as well. Also, let's have a look at the boots. The boot space on the Kia Soul is a really nice functional aspect to it. You have your parcel shelf, which actually folds down once, folds down once again out of the way, and just hangs completely out of the way. And you have this nice, lovely boot space underneath here. As you lift this up, bit of space, you can clearly see you've got your tyre repair kit, you've also got a three pin lead as well in there that's provided as standard but you wouldn't know unless you open the flap. So as I said, the three pin lead comes as standard for your home charging which is your 13 amp cable, um, so that can plug into any home outlet and that'd be all good for your home charging. We also provide as an optional extra, uh, your public charging lead uh, which you can use out and about to get free public charging and that will be provided to you for pounds. Right, and there you have it. This nice, lovely 30 kilowatt grey Kia Soul. If you're interested in finding out a bit more, or a bit more information about the actual vehicle itself, maybe not this one in particular, but just Kia Souls in general, make sure to check out our YouTube page where Richard, our founder and owner, he's done a real in-depth video into them, and he explains all the good and the bad points as well, just to give you a really transparent, honest review on the vehicle. If you're interested in having a little look at this one in up close and personal, do feel free to get in touch. Our number is 01761 233 558, and we'll be happy to get you booked in for a test drive and hopefully get you driving